like to give up this spot for free. So throw a couple of stars at it just to completely deter. And I would think that Moon Raccoons has sniffed this Ooh. one out. And it's a shock dart kill to kick things off. So they've got the information that the Jet and the Silver are playing over towards A. And, I mean, they're just sticking to their guns here. Four standing, and they're just going to send it over towards A. I mean, this is why we highlighted Annie as well as Itno Han. Like, those shock dots are terrifying. Katie's going to be holding short here. Shoulder peeking just to see. Can she get that kill? Oh, it's so close. Oh, my goodness. What? The prediction from Katie there was insane. And this is why she's got the highest ACS, right? In the entire tournament, Katie just absolutely insane. And it's not just the... The accuracy, right? She's not just shooting heads, but she's the prediction, the game knowledge. She plays the jet. She knows where that dash is going to finish inside of that cloud burst. Now it's down to the last two. Make it the last one. Flowerful on 33 HP. Able to get one. But Annie finds a nice little... It's nice to have those off the board. And with that fake or that feint over towards B, they don't get A quite for free as they're still playing towards the back of the side. And it is this Bulldog versus Pistols. It is Katie versus the world here. Alexis able to get on the board and Han on the flank. Unfortunately, not good for another. So only making it hurt. The rest of the squad is right behind it. Obviously, we can see that this squad <laughs> is right behind it. And this is a spooky spot with the curveball queued up. Are going to go out for the information as well. And it's a close range where the Spectre starts to pop off. And Alexis is showing us how to do it. Finding three and stunting this push. It's all down to the last tier. A 4K and a don't give it up for free. Even if that lockdown comes through. Is Alexis able to find that spray down? Showstopper now online. Gravity Well going to try and suck in one. And the wall bang not going to find too much. Just a bit of damage. And Lori actually finding a couple of kills on some rotators. That's going to be the alt. Now off the board for that raise, so things aren't going to be as explosive. No, Katie's still alive. Katie's still on full HP. No, Lord, he finds a nice 3k, Dang. but Annie continues to battle back. And it's all up to the Killjoy, who does have that lockdown available. But working against two, and the Hunter Shuri would easily sit it down. Flowerful picks up what needs to pick oh. up here next. Imposter down. Which might slow things down for a minute as that dark cover comes through. Curveball not going to find the flash just yet. The hot hands to try and stop that push. And Alexis is holding it down. Now Hunter Shuri actually used picking up a on to Lori. The lockdown now. That is where I thought we'd see those Hunter Shuri's used. But instead, Flowerful still hanging on to that one. And it could be what turns the tides of this round should she find a decent spot to put it down. Again, there was great prediction there from Annie to be able to get the Hunter's Fury kill while Lori was in the air. Oh my goodness, the showstopper gets nothing, but we get the operator kill from KT onto Diana, and it's a 2v4 situation here for Moon Raccoons. At 2v4, and you ne saw the ideas for the Moon Raccoons. That spike goes down. Now they have a whole lot of time to play with, and they don't have to use that lockdown right away, but they do need to be careful where they choose to use it, because Cloud9 will just run right at it. It is going to go down over towards short. Katie just dashing right onto the side, trying to take the fight right to him. Only a couple more seconds to get it done. All three corralled underneath heaven. They're trying to escape the detain, and it's all up to Diana, who's on the flank, finds the first kill. Now just needs to play with the time. Katie on low HP. Oh, it's going to swing. Nice curveball to just buy some time. Finds one kill. Not able to find the so next, but might close. have done it. And there it is. And he doesn't have enough time? time to get it. They use just about damage here for Moon Raccoons. You'd love to get a spike plan, obviously, to help boost that economy. Yep. There's one kill to come on through, and Flowerful has been absolutely huge for this squad thus far. Leading in kills, now finding another headshot with the Sheriff. No. Gonna try and keep this weapon oh! so far out of reach, but now two guns down. It's Han on the inverse finding that, and here it is. There's the spike plant. They've got a few weapons to their names, and Katie's on low HP. There it is again. Oh, Flowerful. Flowerful sits him down. I was going to say low HP on the op doesn't matter, but Flowerful comes up huge as they try and take the fight right on the site now in a 2v1. Flowerful needs to keep doing what she's doing. The paint shells go through the spray down. Yo! And two, she falls at the end of it all, but Moon Raccoons get the... Not only needs to have, uh, you know, the aim, but also the brains in this one. And oh, nice. It's Lori with the aim this time around. Going to go up top towards heaven. Make sure this isn't a safe passage for anybody for Cloud9. Alexis holding this one, and Lori still finds the kill on the site. Flowerful found another. Cloud9 down to their last two here in the 10th round. It's an operator in the hands of Katie. I believe oh, a Bucky wow. in the hands of Katsumi, and Katie just going to look to save this one. Ooh, oh my actually, god, what a shot. Looks to deny for now. 
Oh no, it's actually Han shooting that hunter's here to try and grab the information as to where they're coming through. Mm -hmm. Oh! Han this is inter This is where it gets spicy, right, Sam? Oh yeah, the cosmic divide comes through here, and we know that. It what? Such good utilization of the cosmic divide there to make sure that you're cutting down the lines of sight. You're cutting down any sort of information that can come through. But the lockdown's coming through from Powerful in this one v three situation. And no again, the spike gonna be planted in an interesting spot. It's not over towards default. Quite out Ooh. in the open as that shrouded step get away underneath heaven. Nobody can spot that cross from Panini as they push through the A-Link. And it was, yeah, Flowerful actually getting caught out there. So now no flank. Nova Pulse gonna find this stun underneath heaven. Lori in a bit of trouble. Toss out the cloud burst to try and survive for a bit longer. Spots out to it. Oh! Spray him down. Now it's down to a 2v2. Low HP on the omen. Drops down to Panini. Still finds the kill. Lockdown gonna be forced. Why not? It's the last round of the half. And Mel needs to go huge. Diana. Going to flank hey. here. Flank for flank. If you want to win that round, you want to even up the scores uh, and give yourselves a fighting chance. Paranoia bought out there. They tossed down to smoke into garage. Shock darts. I mean, Ooh. that is that is Annie's MO right there. Finding a shock dart kills on this Sova. Continue to I think that's her third or fourth in this match Boy. alone. And a lot of chip damage down onto Lori as well. So these pistols. Could get quite a bit of value now. I might be getting ahead of myself as the drone gets information on two. Angel is going to be used. Oh, Diana through the Diana. smoke able to find one, find two, find three, and Flowerful closes it out. And Sam, your caster blessed the woman. <laughs> I thought maybe just to bait out some of that utility. But nope, they dash on in. That's when we're going to be able to get that spike down, working towards that cosmic divide. On our 5v5 retake scenario. That run it back was used, I believe, across the map for some information because it was available this round for Diana. Now, it is not as... They wait. Maybe they're waiting for a dart here. They don't really have a way to get information. As the hot hands go through to clear out the corner, that should get a whole lot of value. Lex is going to find the first kill. Cut down to 18, 18. The kills are traded right back. Dropping from heaven. We find ourselves in a 2v2. Make it a 2v1. Diana's done it before. Can she do it again? It's against the oh. rifles. Instead, it's Mel. Or so we're... A9 seem to be waiting for Annie's. A couple of shock darts go out to try and clear short as they push up from sewers. Right to the smokes they go. Imposter down as Flowerful will fall, but it's traded right back. Now Katsumi able to get on the board. Struggling in kills early in this one, but we know what that Astra brings to the board. Shock darts going to find the tag. A little bit of chip damage. She walks right back into it, not expecting the second. That's the spike down. They've only got 15 seconds to work with. Do they go for the spike or do they go for the kills? It's going to be the kills as Panini needs to buy some time and is doing just that. Now the spike looks to get planted. Annie able to get that one down. Shrouded step onto the site. Does she know where Panini went? She heard the oh! noise, but it doesn't matter. Panini skyrockets up the scoreboard. And nothing to answer, unfortunately. No Hunter's Fury. And you don't have the paint shells. You don't have anything really too explosive. Maybe no lineups. Or the shock darts is Han. Deep on the flank, Spike is planted, but look at the post plant. This is so interesting. It's all over towards Garage, and this is not where you would expect it to be. Katie, the only one on site, but maybe oh. the only one that matters. Curveball comes through, tries and clear it out. Oh. Katie finds one. One left click is all it takes. Looks for some more. The right click goes wide, and Lori cuts her down. Divide was used, but Cat just doesn't have a whole lot going for her. Now a 2v2. As Mel picks one up with the Nano Swarm. They're running out of time. They have to try to send it. Somebody just has to stick it, but the kills come through. They only get it halfway. And, and Hunter's Fury to try and clear out sewers to make sure that there's no one down there. So even when Katie got the kill on the A site, they knew that it wasn't going to be an A hit because there wasn't anyone moving through sewers. So they knew not to make that rotation. But now the spike has gone down over towards the C site. Moon Raccoon's going to play this a little bit more slowly as they try and make their way onto site. No lurkers this time around. They don't actually know that, but it does mean that they have a little bit of respite. Gonna uh, in invest the run it back there for some information. Yeah, and finding the kills. Oh my god, Diana goes huge! And Alexis, <laughs> the last one standing, will fall! I don't rate available. And like I predicted, Lori has moved to another spot with the operator and she gets the opening kill onto Katie who had the blade storm! That's massive! Absolutely huge. They do still have the Hunter's Fury to work with, but yeah, it was it's the eco round the blades needed to get so much and through the wall. Diana continues her reign of terror.
Panini finds one on to Mel, and if you were hoping to win a thrifty round, this is not that round. Cloud9, down to two players, just outside of Garage, and he knocked down to one HP, and Cat is there to back her up, but just not long for this world. Sam, we are going to be knotted up at 10 here in just a moment. There it is, a flawless than she could chew there, and that hit over towards B. Has since commenced. The spike has made it up onto the site. Not yet planted. Oh, Powerful playing off. They're trying to hook around over towards A. And oh, is free for the most Spike part. As the kills a. start to flood on through, though. Nothing else is going to be free. No rotates for you. As it's all up to Alexis and Mel. They do have that spike. They are down a player from the shadows available. If there's ever a time Mel finds a huge kill to grab that lockdown. Doesn't need the alt orb. Just the kills will do. As a dark cover, gonna buy some space, buy some time. Alexis has the angle. Oh. They look the wrong way, and Panini once more up towards heaven. Finds herself in a 1v2 clutch situation. If she wins this round, Cloud9's economy is going to be in shambles. She doesn't oh. peek the corner once more, and Alex from the shadows could join the team almost immediately. And there it is. It just gonna send it. Oh, gets the information, actually, that they are committing to this site. Now the rest will join. The flank, though, in mid. It's going to be answered. Mel pushing on up. Oh! And spot Diana. Diana finds a kill, and Han grabs another. This is looking perfect for Moon Raccoons. Looking to make it a flawless retake as Annie is only on the Bulldog. Even in winning that round, the economy was hurt, but both playing underneath heaven. And this should be an easy swing and an easy spray down as once more, we are all knotted up this time at 11. I love how Moon Raccoons have started to read C9. Things like expecting them to lurk. And ex I'm just wondering if somebody picked up that operator after Laurie went down. If somebody on Moon Raccoons picked it up or if they've just left it there. Because I don't think C9 would have been in a position to pick it up. So if it's still lying on the floor there, it's a little bit dangerous. But now the spike has gone down. And this is still a really good round for Moon Raccoons to turn around. Because as we mentioned, it is the anti-eco. They're going to invest the run it back though. Despite the fact that it's an anti-eco. See if they can get some information. Maybe get a pickle or two out of it. Because it's essentially an extra life. Yeah, and I mean, you've got the information now. Sight's completely clear. They all have to be long. Oh! A huge kill with the showstopper. Katsumi able to get on the board with the sheriff. But the spike is halfway. They get the information. They're just going to try and stick it. Panini ducking her head. And she gets it done. It's a team ace. But everybody dies. Whether it's a clutch or a thrifty, they don't usually give it the other way. So I could... I see the, I sense the confusion. Is cool. No confusion there. Katsumi picks one up with the Spectre. We'll no back ways. away. Lockdown gonna be used. Uh, and Cloud9 have been taking the fight right to him. No it's been used, but Mel sh should be able to take this down. And okay, so it bought the time, whether she destroyed it or not there at the end. It was basically just running down the clock. And Diana in a 1v5. Needs to go absolutely bananas. Looking to clear just about everything. Blaze wall to go on up. It's going to look to stick, but it's just the firing squad. No time bot. <laughs> and we're moving on Cat. She's completely looking the opposite direction. They spot her out. No trigger discipline. Tries to send it. Panini gets taken down. That's the spike down all the way towards long. Unfortunately, Mel, not long for this world. She was pinched from this C site. Diana queues up the hot hands, has a curveball to work with, coming out of this dark cover, is going to do just that, pushes Cat away and oh able to earth. secure that kill that she tried to start earlier in the round. Now with the spike planted, Moon Raccoons, one player ahead, no ultimates on the board just yet, nobody invested that heavily in kills or alt orbs to have that, so it's just going to be the gunfights, and Diana, she usually wins those, the hot hands, oh my oh! goodness, able to find a third kill, but Alexis goes huge to grab that one inside of that Molotov. Now a turret and three members to worry about. A shock dart to go through. A nano swarm now running out of time. Annie just has to do the unthinkable here. We've seen it done before. That oh, no. next nano swarm is gonna buy so much time. The recon bolt for the info, and she actually just has to stick it here. Does not have no ways. really anything left in the tank. Those shock darts gonna sit her to take this A control. They're looking to push us into double OT. That's flowerful. Maybe looking to play contact off the turret. Isn't he playing towards short? She actually spots the leg of Kane, able to spray her down, trying to keep composure for another. Katsumi gonna be the benefactor of that one. The curveball actually somehow, someway flashes Alexis on the swing, but Katsumi completely coming online here. The overtime warrior, as we see her go galactic to set some stars down. Now, if you push through this A-Link area, 
you're definitely gonna get stunned or you're definitely gonna be hit with that gravity well and those nano swarms buying so much time recon bolt is online paranoia is queued up cloud nine white in the driver's seat here a 3v2 there goes the paranoia they spot out cap but han jumps down too early and gets tagged by it An absolute worst case scenario as katsumi goes huge a 4k to push us to double ot now flowerful looking to get the lurk looking to get the value and does just that mel was ready for it but flowerful comes out on top and has this shot a 4v3 so still winnable on either side but the spike is planted and Cloud9 need to make a move. The Nebulas go through. Paranoia as Katie finds the imposter. Katie finds another onto Han. Drops on down, dashes oh. away. And Cloud9 are getting it done. Flowerful has the utility, but needs to go ginormous. In a 1v2, the Cloud Burst is sprayed out. Katie grabs a 4K. She's got it halfway, and she's got the round. The alarm bot going to be brought back. Unfortunately, no turret. Not brought back just yet. Danny trying to set up a crossfire here. Mel in a nice position to catch anybody coming outside of window or maybe catch the top of their heads. Diana, the first to hop out. Oh, finds the kill. It's traded yeah, as Annie finds two. Now the odds completely even. The information is there, and Annie's cut down to 78. And who better than Katie to start to close it out in double oat of CLG Red and Dignitas. And it's a quick one towards A. But I guess that was going to happen as Lori finds the first kill. Kicking us off nice and strong, and this is what I wanted to see. They looked a little slow in the first four rounds on Haven, but they come out swinging here in this one, Sam. And again, this is kind of an unknown quantity because we've never seen them play this map before. Oh, we're getting shut down by Mel there. Unfortunate for Diana, but it does even out the numbers a little bit here between these two teams. As we see C9Y taking very, very aggressive control of the site. They don't want to uh, allow a, a diffuse stop at all. And they're able to find the kills, just not enough and quite possibly not in time. As Alexis forced to come off the spike, they're not able to get it halfway. And now you just have to play around the clock and said it's going to be the ghost. We've seen how deadly she can be with that. I will drone deployed here for the info. Kitty already had given herself up, so not a whole lot to gain there. Unless they... They may have spotted Alexis up from Crafter, so no one two are here. And Katie just goes all the way around the around the world kill onto Diana and Flowerful caught out on the flank. It is the bonus round. It is the SMGs as they look to just take the fight right in the faces. And Panini, the last standing against four couple health bars are low, but not enough heat. And so with this push, it's full rifles against full rifles, and that's a great way to get things started. Taking Mel off the board means a lot of utility. Now gone as they try and spray through the box. But all of the vision denial has already been used by Katsumi. It's been the one-way poison cloud setup, the toxic screen already used. Yes, you do have those cloud bursts available, which do buy you a little bit of time, but they've since been nerfed. So this is where things get a bit dicey. Glory walks right into the crossfire, right into the crosshair, rather, of Katie, who's looking for another Panini yet to get this spike down. And I wonder if she's got a shrouded step to get away because she's in a very bad spot as Katie just continues to maul this team. And Flowerfall's on that look again, but it's expected. Alexis has got her eyes on that spot, waiting to see if she does peek. Doesn't get spotted out as it is now the two left alive. live. We're going to see the shrouded step uh, for the plant going all the way over on the A site. Instead, of course, that is somewhat standing. telegraphed. And with Flowerfall going down, I don't know if Panini can hold this down. They're all so low. She looks at the dart for a second. It's so pivotal. Pivotal in a B push like this. I was trying to say B and I just threw it into a word and it's pivotal. Uh, the, the lockdown no does get used on the side of Cloud9. So a, kind of a lot invested. The Hunter sure will be able to take it down and quite possibly could just be just to bait that one out so they don't have the ult for later because they had the player advantage. Now Lori and Panini going to hop on up there in the kill feed. Mel is able to trade it back, so Lori only good for one in the Resurrection oh. online. That's what Sage brings to the table. Absolutely huge there. Oh. As the Domain expansion comes out from the Viper. The Viper spit, but Panini sprays him. Into this round, they just need to not die to this. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Down A. I mean, that is... It's nice utilization of utility. Oh. No! As she pops the Empress! 
And Katie just continues to frag, but you cannot forget the assist there. The Leer went out and somebody from screens shot it down so Katie could keep going to work on this A side. Now, here comes the blade work as the knives go up. The one goes up must come down, says Lori. Unfortunately, a whole lot more difficult because you don't have that stage wall to stop it. Diana, on the other hand, Bag a few here. Lori gonna hop on the board. The spike is slowly gonna get planted down, but the kills might be what do it here in this round. The Hunter Shuri trying to delay was Annie. As Mel pushes up through kitchen. And then gonna have the high ground. The flank coming out from Flowerful and get some value this time around. Now the credits are nice and juicy. And he has a whole lot in the bank and a couple more to what? add to it, unfortunately. Gonna get the plant down closer and closer to the Hunter Shiri. Katie has the high ground here, but this up close and personal battle sometimes doesn't favor the operator. As I say it, though, oh. cuts down her counterpart and Lori sends one through the wall. The call out was there for Ness, but it doesn't find too much. Now playing around that sage wall, is Diana and the rest of the squad looking to play so far off the site, but they're just getting shut down. They're trying to play in the post plants, but the kills just keep coming through as Flowerful goes good for two before falling. Han has to do so much in these last few moments, but instead it's none other than Katie. Heal that up. Now, the last time we saw the lockdown, the round went in favor of Cloud9. This time, Flowerful gonna take her lead and go on the flank. There is a Hunter's Fury available though. Oh, but instead of destroying it, they get detained a little bit, but no one has found them. And now the counter lockdown is going to come down. Not in time to save Panini. And not in a oh, great wow. spot as the kills just start flooding through. Moonrack. A little bit, fake it out a little bit. Oh, but they're going back towards B. Felt like they were a bit indecisive there, but Mel is still on A against three people. Yeah, Mel has so much going on. Bought out the, the Tailwind from Lori as well. So that dash not going to be available for the jet. And it's a one for one trade across the map, but the spike goes down and that bought a whole lot of time for this clock to just start ticking down. And Katie picked up a huge kill, right? If you disrespect the Viper wall, oh my God, Ooh, there it is okay. again. This time through the wall, that kill comes through and the rest of the squad starting to find their frags all around it. The snake bites go down and it doesn't even in that last round. The drone goes up, does spot out Diana. Three forced to try and run away. Mel just trying to run her down, but to her own demise there. Lori there for the backup. The alley oop oh, as Diana God. finds hey. another. Maybe some more on low HP. Diana's not done fighting here. There's no heal on the side of this Moon Raccoon squad as they run down Katsumi. She falls for another. And you pointed out in that last, if she goes down early, it hurts. This time it's the spike that goes down. Diana on the flank to dismiss to get away. Now needs to move a bit further. There's the right click to cut her down. So the reset comes on through. The moon raccoons aren't done just yet. The up shot goes wide. The resurrection. And now Cloud9 in the driver's seat. As I say it, Panini picks up quite possibly the most important frag here of the round. With the lockdown coming through gonna force everybody off of this B site so Mel getting a whole lot of value out of that one and at the very least they should be able to nab a spike plant oh my goodness through the wall that is I mean that's textbook that is why you you don't plant there because it can be shot through as Han finds three Panini finds just completely deny it this time around however once again C9 able to oh my god what let me finish my about four rounds in a row katie goes down early but this time around they push up through two there's not a whole lot stopping them there is no sage wall it was just flowerful and they're able to find that kill they make things even but Lori says i don't think so pops the blades now needs to get the value oh, that's the spike down once more as panini plays a ring around oh. the rosie turns around for another alexis up top able to grab that kill and the spike now needs to get it planted has a lot of time to work with and he spotted out towards yellow. That spike being planted in tube. Now the positions are known and the flank is eminent. Diana once more pushing up through long. The right click on the knives are going to go wide. Alexis forced to reload, tries to jump away. In an overtime scenario. Very close to it. Oh, but my earth. after a tactical pause, the best way to kick things online, the Hunter's Fury. And for Cloud9, no decision oh, made just yet. The spike still in spawn. And Panini picks up. Still seems to be a place of interest. On on the flank, though. Gonna find Alexis. 
security still online. Unfortunately, maybe not for much longer as it's a 1v1 and who better any pro falls time. I'm not too sure how much is longer on that toxic screen, but it needs to be huge. It needs to be enough to keep that plant going. The spike does go down with a few seconds left on the board. Lori, just a few moments short from finding that kill with the knives. And Cloud9 look to tie us up. The economy is fantastic for Moon Raccoon, so they can just try and send it in a 1v5 with an operator. That's a, that's a very tall, very tall ask for Lori here. Yeah. With rifles and three ultimates to play with. And an early kill from Katie. Again, this is why you have to try and get this jet off the board. In the last couple of rounds, they haven't been able to do that. It's a free take up towards B. Now a retake up towards B as Katie oh. finds another Panini to fall. Lori with the operator. Somehow, some way, they have to deal with this jet oh, as they Lori. cut down the other one. Lori shot from behind Alexis just outside of Kitchen. Anna's still on the same B long flank. But it's looking like Cloud9 White. First to map point here. And he takes a bit of damage, but trades some back. Now it's all up to Diana. They're going to give him the 1v1. Be impressed. Absolutely. If you lose this, I think you go down to the loser's bracket proud, no matter what happens. But it's not over just yet, because Moon Raccoons are still able to full buy on this round. And if they win this, then of course... You can have in this round... As Katie's gonna get the first shot on target, Diana trying to dodge away from the recon bolt. Mel to follow, and it's starting to come crumbling down for the Moon Raccoons. The spike to be planted. A couple of ultimates are available, but Katsumi on the flank cuts down the operator. Hunter Fury gonna be used here from Annie. And it just finds some space. It takes the lockdown away. Annie finds a kill on the Flowerful. Now Panini needs to go absolutely nuclear. Finds the first kill in a 1v5. Not the best wall. Has some smokes to work with. Looking to push up aggressively here. Needs to peek the corner. Able to take some shots onto Mel, but Mel 